Hey guys, I'm Deepthi Desikin and today's video I'm going to be talking about lipsticks that were completely different from what I thought they looked like. So I saw some swatches, like say on the website, right, they have a swatch shade and uh, the lipstick was nothing like that. Or I saw some swatches online and the shade appeared to be a little bit too different from what I saw. So I have a couple of it right here, but I'm pretty sure I have missed out a couple of lipsticks because I have quite a lot of it and I'm not sure which one is different from the swatch I saw online. But right off the bat, when I was writing down this video and I was like, okay, write down the content of it. I was like, okay, these looked a little bit different. So the first one I am going to be talking about, this arrived as a major surprise for me, is the My Glam Lit Liquid Lipstick. This one is in the shade Insta Grand Standing. This I did swatch in my previous video of me trying out some new makeup products and this one I thought was like a brown shade. If you see this swatch, I will insert a screenshot of it right here from the My Glam website. It looked like a nice brown shade and even on Amazon and everywhere, it looked like a really nice brown shade and that's the reason I actually picked this one up. But this is a really like orange toned red shade in fact. So there's no hints of brown to it at all. And I was a little bit taken aback and I was like, okay, I thought this was brown, but this is just another shade that I might probably have in my collection. So this one is that. The next one is actually one of my first liquid lipsticks, okay? I had no idea how I should actually go about buying liquid lipsticks. So so back in the day, I used to watch a lot of YouTubers like Kathleen Lights and Jacqueline Hill and everyone. And a lot of uh, people were, of course, of a lighter skin tone than I am. And that time I was completely new to even YouTube, like watching beauty videos on YouTube. And uh, I didn't know who to watch. And only later did I realize that every lipstick is not going to look the same on everyone so a person that is like of course a uh, skin tone like kathleen lights it's not going to look the same on me so i got this shade called patina because it looked beautiful on her but on me it's such a <laughs> washed out dull pale nude shade that i don't really like on myself I'm not blaming anyone for this, it's my mistake, but I didn't really know. And this one was like a surprise when it came and I first applied this on my lips and I was so excited, okay? When I tried it out, because this is my first liquid lipstick, I'm like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then it looked so bad and pale. And I was also considering wearing this on its own outside because I didn't know that uh, nude lipsticks can wash you out and everything. And then I was like, okay, no, something's really off and I don't think I can pull this shade off on its own and I'm not going to wear this out and people at home were like good decision so this was one shade like that did I have to give that much of a backstory maybe I did have to because why not and then the next one which when I got it I was like what like what this is the Maybelline uh, Sensational Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Soft Wine. So um, this is a beautiful shade. I'm not denying that. I like the formula. I like everything. But when I saw swatches of certain YouTubers, this looked really nice, like deep red shade. And that particular YouTuber is of a deeper skin tone than I am. So that's one of the reasons why I bought this because it looked so beautiful on her. And I was like, okay, definitely going to look the same on me as well. And it's not going to be that muted because I don't really want that many muted red shades. You know, I have all of that. I like deep red shades because those pair really well with Indian outfits. And um, whenever I'm going for a certain occasion, I I am wearing Indian outfits, so I would have loved to pair this one up with that. But no, this is not that deep. It looked like uh, MAC Carnivorous, if you know what I mean. And can you see the swatch of that? This is just like a red shade with a little bit of brown orange hints to it. So nothing like what I saw on that particular YouTuber. And this took me by surprise. Like I was surprised looking at it. And I think even the swatches on Nika, it looked like a deep, deep red shade. And for some reason, it doesn't look like that at all in person. I don't know what the problem is. The next one is Nika Chai. I'm pretty sure this is a inconsistency in the formula because I think the full size of this, the Chai shade is definitely beautiful. But this one is not as pigmented and I don't really like how this one looks and it's not that deep. First of all, it's dried down like the shade. It doesn't show up as much. So because this is sort of like a uh, red shade with a lot of 
brown mauve hints to it it's a beautiful shade i must agree but it doesn't show up that well on my lips so i didn't really know when i ordered that the full size and the mini variants are a lot different in terms of formula um i didn't really hear anyone mention this as well so if you're watching this video and you want to pick up chai i would recommend picking it up in the full size because i think that way at least you would get some kind of pigmentation because the mini variant they have dried down in the tube as well and they don't really show as much on your lips so if you're seeing someone wears chai and you're like oh look at that shade so beautiful and you order this not gonna be the same the next one again is the Maybelline lipstick in the shade Toasted Brown. This is one lipstick that can actually fool you a couple of times, okay? So if I wear this one with makeup, it looks beautiful. It looks really nice. But the same thing if I wear it without any makeup on my lips, lips. But the same thing if I wear it without any makeup on, it looks so dull, it'll just make you look like you're sick and really tired and you just had a very bad rough day so that's the kind of shade this is so this is a very very tricky shade so if you see this on someone with a full makeup on like i have tried this on on in another video i will link it right here it looks so nice but i've also swatched it in another video without makeup on and you can see the difference itself so this is one shade that you will be surprised when you get it and when you try it on because probably from the swatches you saw someone wearing this with a full nice full face of makeup and trying this on and of course it's going to look beautiful but without makeup no and then the next one is the ColourPop liquid lipstick in the shade Peeper. So I have of course seen this on people of deeper skin tones as well and it looked really nice. And I'm not sure if there's a change in uh, formula and hence a change in the shade itself because uh, each time they do reformulate and they do quietly change the shades as well. Probably the first time ColourPop launched this shade Peeper and the newer ones like if you compare the swatches side by side there would be a little bit of a shade difference because of course formulation and uh, each time it's not going to be the same because certain batches might differ and with ColourPop they have their own lab and I think they make it uh, in small batches because they have their own lab that's what I am thinking and so this shade is really dull on my skin tone it just washes me out and doesn't look good at all so I'm not sure what the problem is but this had me like go nope <laughs> so i can't wear this without makeup and i haven't worn this with makeup as well as much the next one is uh smashbox stepping out i have seen so many people love this shade and the swatches online and everything looked so good but on me this is like a dull mauve shade so it looks nice with makeup but even then it's so subtle and muted that i don't really like it you know if you are someone who really likes like um subtle nude shades very very subtle this would work out for you and if you have lighter skin tone than i am again it would look really nice but for me with the pigmentation of my lips and everything it was it's just not my favorite I've seen so many people rave about this. I've seen it look so beautiful on so many people and <laughs> for some reason on me, no. Again, I do need to do a lot of things to pull that shade off. And that's the reason you don't see it on me quite often as well because it, it's not something I do really like on myself. And then the last one is this one. This is the Lime Crime Liquid Lipstick in the shade Rustic. So this I got as a free product when I ordered something else another liquid lipstick from Lime Prime. So this uh, shade, it looks very similar to like uh, mm, Maybelline Sensationally Me liquid lipstick. Is that what it's called? Sensationally Matte liquid lipstick in the shade Sensationally Me. That's how this looks. But in from the swatches and everything, I thought it had a little bit more brown, like say the uh, Milani liquid lipstick in the shade Loved. I assumed it would look like that but it's a lot more uh, peachy pink and bright on the lips. It's not as muted as I thought it was which is not a problem for me. I can still pull it off. It does still look really nice. It was just something that I was like oh okay this is how it looks. That's all. Just that surprise factor that was involved in that but I'm not disappointed with that shade as such. So yeah, those were all the lipsticks and liquid lipsticks I wanted to talk to you guys about. I hope it was a nice video for you to watch as well. It is a little bit different. I just wanted to sit and film something that um, is quite short, 
crisp and something that is a little bit out of the box and I genuinely wanted to share my thoughts about certain lipsticks and liquid lipsticks so i hope you guys enjoyed that and i know some of this is just my mistake and some of this it was just a straight up <laughs> deceit but okay let me know what are the lipsticks you saw online and were like when you got it it was a completely different shade maybe we can add that for a part two of this same thing if this video is something you guys enjoy watching so let me know in the comment section down below and while you're at it you know what you're supposed to do Give this video a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell so to be notified every time I upload a new video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! Just in case you're not notified, Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 7.30pm, okay?